at 10.57 a.m., the presidential jet touched ground at the Sultan Abu Bakr III International Airport in Sokoto State, and President Buhari is received by the governor of the state, Aminu Tambuwal. Making their way to the Sama Road residence of the late former president, Shehu Shagari, the house is bursting at the seams with friends and well-wishers who have converged to say their final goodbyes and send condolences to the Shagari family on the loss of their most illustrious son. Yes, Alejo Shagari was a landmark figure, being virtually our last link to the post independence government of Alahaji Abuka Tafa Palewa and the first elected executive president of Nigeria. Please convey to his immediate family, the government and people of Sokoto State, my heartfelt condolences on the passing away of this great statesman. Also landing in Sokoto is former President Goodluck Jonathan in the company of the vice presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Peter Obi. Delivering his condolences, Goodluck Jonathan described the late Shagari as a unifier. One thing unique about Shagari is those who are interacted with him know that in spite of the serious position of the chair of the society, very, very simple and humble man. In the late leader's tenure as president, he picked the late Alex Ekweme as his vice president, the first and only from the southeastern part of the country. A fact which Peter Obi says is not lost on the people of the southeast. Next year, it will be 40 years after Alex Ekweme was the vice president. And now you can, you can imagine what it is for us that for the past 40 years, we've never had an opportunity of being part of the executive and of government. And this was my own gave us the opportunity. And like a woman would always tell me that you need to work with somebody like Shagari to appreciate what it actually is all about. A teacher turned politician, late Shehu Shagari had served Nigeria not just as president, but in various capacities. And encomiums continue to pour in from across the country with calls that his qualities be emulated by all. Kayla Magua, Channel Television News.